Ever dreamed of traveling the world? Well, dust off your passport, but hold on a sec, because some countries just aren't that keen on American tourists. That's right. There are places where your U.S. passport might not be the golden ticket you think it is. We're diving deep into the surprising world of travel restrictions. We'll uncover the reasons why Uncle Sam might not get you into certain countries and explore some unexpected destinations that are off limits for Americans. Venezuela. Venezuela faces a humanitarian crisis with poor health care and human rights abuses. The political turmoil since 2014 has worsened the situation, leading to the U.S. Embassy closure in 2019. Crime, unrest, kidnappings, and wrongful detentions are ongoing threats. Belarus. That's a concerning summary about the situation in Belarus. It highlights several risks for travelers and citizens there. Military buildup. The presence of Russian troops in Belarus raises security concerns. Uncertain legal environment, unfair enforcement of laws can lead to unpredictable situations. Potential unrest. There's a possibility of civil disturbances within Belarus. Limited U.S. support. The U.S. Embassy closure restricts assistance for American citizens. It's wise to be aware of these issues before traveling to Belarus. Russia. Traveling to Russia is currently very dangerous for Americans. The U.S. government advises against all travel to Russia due to several risks. The war in Ukraine and its unpredictable consequences. The ability of harassment and detention by Russian authorities. Unreliable enforcement of laws which could lead to trouble for travelers. Specific areas like Chechnya and Mount Elbrus are even riskier due to terrorism, unrest, and kidnapping threats. Syria. Syria is an extremely dangerous country for Americans. There's ongoing violence throughout the country, including terrorism, civil unrest, and armed conflict. Americans are specifically targeted for kidnapping and detention, with no U.S. Embassy to offer assistance. The situation is worsened by the recent escalation of fighting between Israel and Hamas, which has drawn in the U.S. with airstrikes in Syria. In short, Syria is unstable and unsafe, making them a high-risk country for Americans. North Korea. North Korea is very dangerous for Americans to visit. Travel is restricted. U.S. passports are invalid due to a high risk of arrest and long detention. This is likely because the North Korean government views Americans with suspicion, especially considering a recent American soldier who crossed the border and was detained. Afghanistan. Afghanistan is a dangerous country for foreigners, especially Americans, due to high risks of terrorism, kidnapping, and wrongful detention. The Taliban rule has brought back harsh punishments and restricted women's rights. The U.S. has no embassy there and international aid has decreased. Natural disasters like earthquakes and drought add to the hardship. Iran. Iran is a dangerous destination in general due to terrorism, kidnapping, and unrest. However, the situation is especially risky for Americans because they can be arrested on vague charges and there's a heightened chance of execution. These tensions likely stem from political disagreements between the Iranian and American governments. Looks like Uncle Sam can't go everywhere. But hey, there are still plenty of amazing places waiting to be explored. So pack your bags, grab your passport, and get ready for some epic adventures.